Hey, love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been feeling like the, the videos is really, you know, you've been watching them and feeling really good about them and, you know, you want to subscribe or something like that, hey, drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's fierce frequency needs no, your fierce frequency needs no introductions it flows solid you stay silent your energy speaks for you it was like i was thinking about that it's like when you know you're growing you're learning and it's not about you feeling yourself it's not about you feeling you know all like you the biggest baddest thing but it's allowing you to get that confidence in yourself like anything you anything that's in, in contact with you anything is flowing your way whether it's good or bad happy or sad is teaching you something it's helping you grow it's giving you knowledge that you need you know soaking up everything as a sponge you know not seeing as negative positive but as an experience to be learned you know and that's showing you you, you already got fierce energy it's just you needed certain situations in your life to reflect that towards you. You know, a lot of times we don't have that faith in ourselves. We don't have that belief. We don't have that confidence in ourselves. We're struggling left and right. You know, people, uh, you know, make us feel like we're not appreciated, not heard, or not even valued. And these are those things that reflect you like you are your own kingdom. You are your own, you know, your own queen, your own, your own king. You know, these are the different things that's going to help you recognize your own power that you felt for God. You know, it silenced it off when we were having veils. We were under, it was like we're all gods and goddesses of amnesia. And a lot of different things is reminding you of that. You know, and it, it's just a beautiful thing. Like when you can go through so many different things in your life. And you can start seeing what your capability of, of is doing. And you know, and a lot of times it's hard to do that when you, when you feel like everything in this power is riding against you. A lot of times we don't realize that that's an illusion of a uh, fake reality you know we were all in that you know we had to unprogram unlearn you know allowing ourselves to you know stop limiting ourselves with just understanding we are access to everything that's unlimited we don't have to go to a certain level because we are told we can do that by our race our gender you know what we choose to stay interested in how much money we got in our bank account what walk of life we come from you know you're allowing yourself to build up your own legacy and what you choose to see fit you know regardless of what our family says regardless of whatever our generation has been going this that and the third they picked you for a reason they know your potential they're just trying to allow you to see that through those different things and a lot of times it's hard to be able to see that when you go through so much you know because this is just like you can tell somebody what your experiences are the things that you have gone through you know all these things and it'll be just like they're blown away because it's just like how are you staying calm how are you still have kindness in your heart you know how you still be able to project love towards people you know you're allowing yourself to understand other people when you're always constantly misunderstood you know that that's always been that fire within you because a lot of times you know the things that we experience can make us very hard can make us very bitter you know we'll put these walls up to where we're not allowing people in you know we're, we're needing love when we're going through the harshness and not realizing we want that so bad that we're, we're so focused on that that war that we're going through we don't realize we close that off for us end up blocking love into our lives because a lot of times we don't realize we don't open our hearts to that you know when we're so focused on the hurt the pain and stuff like that we continue to suffer but you start seeing everything as a life lesson to strengthen you to gave you that power to empower you you start soaring you know even when you don't see you get excited like man look you know and you're re really going through all those different things and it's showing you it's like you a lot of times you ain't yet even got to introduce yourself your energy speaking already for you it's like you coming in there especially if it's anybody spiritually in tune what is that you know and it remind me just like you know i got my aunt's you know shirt on you know god rest his soul i know his his first you know um anniversary came up 
you know, with DMX, you know, Earl Simmons. You know, I always just look at him like, dude, it's just your words. It's like how you rap, how you, you know, you flow with it. You know, your jams, all these different things used to always have us in the club just bumping. You know, even I still listen to his music. You know, different times I may be going through something, next thing you know, boom. Either I'll see his picture flow up on my computer or it'll be something of a commercial and I'll see something with him in it. You know, and all these different things that will remind me. You know, of what certain things that I, I, you know, I lose focus on. You know, it's always something that's coming into your life. You know, I got my, my family. They always remind me of the different things that I, you know, how many challenges I face and so many different things that I conquered. You know, I always, you know, give props to them. You know, they, they're helping me so much from over in the spiritual realm. And just being able to do that. And it's just like when I'm allowing myself to be... On my platform where I can use it to the best of my ability being able to see the things that I've gone through the things that I you know I constantly face and being able to see the you know the silver lining in that all and I love to be able to share that with other people because it's like so many different things people don't know the battles we face we can sit up here you know and fake the funk all day yeah man I'm okay it's a small thing to a giant it'll be all right you know whatever whatever I'm allowing myself to be a victim it remind me of that song by Kesha when it's called I uh, learn to let go you know she had to practice what she preach she's like oh you know it's not as bad as it is you know I want to be a victim towards different things you know allowing myself to not dwell on the past and not realizing everything she was telling other people not to do she was doing and I can totally resonate with that you know because I have no problem with telling people at that time when I was preaching all these different things I didn't realize I was rejecting my own truth you know what I'm saying because I did it, it was just like so many different things I convinced myself it was difference between me not convincing myself and didn't believe. And there's a different time when you come in alignment with your own truth to know you can conquer anything. Anything you put your mind to. You know, regardless of what you're facing. When you know you hold that faith and say, I'm going to, uh, this too shall pass. This is only temporary. You know, my, my current situation ain't my final destination. You know, and I really allowed myself to believe that. Because other times, I didn't realize just when we're going through those changes, I felt that for so long. And then it gets that one thing you know or two things or three things that come in and it really had me going back and that was just showing me I wasn't faithful with myself I wasn't believing in myself I didn't have confidence in myself now when things pop up my like, man look this is out of my control I'm not about to sit up here and see into this or whatever let me move on to something else and that's what happens you you know you can't take everything seriously even thing is coming at you a lot of times those things come at you just to see where your head is at where your mindset at where your focus is on where you're putting your energy at you know, a lot of times things happen just to show you to be observant of those things. What does that thing need to teach you? You know, and when you're doing that, it's showing you where your strength is at because you're not allowing certain things to get to you like it used to get to you before. Allowing yourself to be certain energies would disrupt you at times. And now it's just like, oh, okay, that's it. You know, it is what it is. And just going about your business. And these are the things where you can sit back. And it's not about you acting all cocky and stuff like that. Because I still stay humble as humble know how. You know, I, I don't be getting to that point where I'm feeling myself so much that I know God like, oh, you know, got on that high horse. How about I knock you down? Because a lot of times we feel that. You know, you get to that point, we take advantage and not be grateful for the things that we've been blessed with. And then God, when God see that you, you, you know, you doing that to, you know, manipulate people or you doing that to control people at times, you know, you know, you stepping on people to get up there and don't realize it'll be same people. God going to knock you down. And you won't have no choice but to interact with them. Oh, hey, howdy, neighbor. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you back down here in this, in these stick of the woods, you know, and then you feeling all embarrassed. But not understanding, that's why it's just like any vibration I've been in, I give grace and gratitude and thanks for that time. Because it showed me what I needed to learn. It showed me the things I needed to let go of. Showing where the change of focus need to be, the energy need to be. You know, being able to see the lessons with that. Not, you know, allowing myself to take it personal for anything. Not taking it personal for anybody other action. I'm only responsible for my own. Pray for the enemies as well as you pray for the people that are, are appreciating you and nurturing you and giving you your props. You know, you're allowing yourself to say, you know, my changes are my teacher. My changes are my inspiration. It's street is teaching me how to be strategic in my in my strength staying forward stay resilient staying fierce you know being able to stay you know just allowing myself when I conquer one thing let me add two more things on there just to see how I can go challenging my own challenge knowing you know the sky's the limit you know I'm not in no chains you know that was only a you know that was only an illusion 
You know, a lot of times we place ourselves in those, you know, those prisons of pain. You know, we're, oh, I can't deal with this. Oh, you know, this is so hard. This is so hard. And it, it can be that way at times. Because, you know, I'm telling you, I'm a witness to that. I've been there. You know, where I felt like I couldn't get out of it. Not realizing that prison, that, that cell I guided myself to or that corner I placed myself in, the door was always unlocked. You can, you can walk out of there anytime you wanted to. But at times I was so focused on what was on the walls, you know, looking at the chains, you know, looking at, you know, at the bars, all those different things that was going on and not realizing that door was unlocked that whole time, you know, that whole time. And it just, and when I, there's days where I just sit up here and cried and just told God, thank you. You know, it's allowing me to really believe in myself. You know, you just say certain things and it was just like, I felt like I was faking the funk with my own self. Like I'm really trying to. You know, it was like contradicting myself. And I can honestly say that, you know, I was really, you know, thinking I was believing in myself, knowing I was still living a lie because I was still holding that fear of that. What if now it's just like, you know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If it, if it ain't, it ain't, you know, but I know I'm destined for greatness. I don't care about what things look at like right now. I'm staying focused on what was promised to me, you know, knowing I can be able to be better than I was yesterday. I'm in competition with my old self, nobody else. The best power you have is nobody can be you. You are your own silent weapon. You're your own deadly weapon because you nobody can't be you. I don't care how much they mimic you. I don't care how many people copy you. You are you. You know, and these are the things you're learning from, from different things that you have gone through, you know, whether it is going through, you know, uh, a spat with your, your family, uh, going through this with your children, going through this with your, you know, your workplace, your co-workers, your family, you know, siblings, your husband, your wife, you know, significant other life partner, whatever it is. It shows you so much about yourself through those moments of transition. You know, this is what strengthens you. You have to be able to go through things. If you never went through things, you would never really know where your stamina is. You would never really know what keeps you ticking. You know, you already know what makes you mad. You already know what gets you riled up and maybe you want to catch a charge. But what about the things that make you flow? You know, finding that hidden passion within yourself, the talents you didn't realize you had. Because there's a lot of things that we do naturally. That is a spiritual gift that is very, I mean, there are people that they got to go through different sessions to be taught something that you do fluently and don't even know it. You know, there'll be certain things. It's like, what was I watching yesterday? House on Haunted Hill. And there's so many different things that I can, re you know, resonate with them folks, especially Theo. You know, that power of sacramentary. I don't like, I'm like, hey, don't touch me. <laughs> I don't like it when people touch me. Because I start seeing a lot of things I don't like seeing. Feeling a lot of things I don't like seeing. And it's just then realize when you in there, you know, and it's just like people are talking about uh, that red room. And not realizing that that wasn't a room. That was just your state of mind. Because everybody was looking like, oh, it was a reading room. Or it's a learning room. It's a workout room. It's a dance room. You know, it's a tea party room and it was all about your state of mind. That was a place that, you know, only you can figure out. And I was like, Dad, that's deep. I love Michael Flanagan movies. You know what? Oh, he know he be doing it. But it was different things that, you know, that guides me to really reflect on different things that teaches me so much. You know, when you can allow yourself, it's strong. You're a strong person when you can admit your wrongs. May admit that you can hold yourself accountable for your own actions. Be honest about be honest about the mistakes that you make, and you're willing to correct them. You know, and I tell people, hey, I have slip up a lot of times. I do. A strongest person can have their weakest moments. That's what strength is when you can show somebody, yeah, I slipped up. You know, because I thought I was really forgiving on certain things. I thought there were certain things I really let go of. You know. And it'll be certain things that'll hit me in a wrong way. And it'll be just like, who Lord. <laughs> it'll be a, you know, it, it'll be like a, a Thundercat mixed in with Incredible Hulk. And that, that's not a good, you know. And then you're still dealing with projections of fear and anger and all that. That's like a tanning bomb ready to go off. And that's dangerous, you know. But it's allowing myself to say, I got to slip up. It's okay. You know, I allow unimportant, unrelevant things get in my, in my focus. And it's okay. That's how you know, that's when a lot of people can relate to you when you can allow yourself to say, I messed up. I messed up. That's where strength really comes from because you can see. Because Universal lets you step back and press pause and it's like, is that really nurturing your growth? Is that really supporting where you're trying to be at? 
Because there's a lot of things I might keep. Man, that was funny. You know, like, mm. But was that supporting you? Yeah, it might have been funny, but is that is that where, where you're at right now? Is that even 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 a factor? Oh, no. And it was like, all right. As long as you're learning from that. Don't do it again, though. <laughs> you know, and you have to really come correct with yourself. Because there's a lot of times, even when you have a conversation with somebody who's truly vibing with you, and you get on a conversation where you know that you don't went back into your old vibrations. Because it's like a lot of times we feel like we, it's us against the world. It's us against our old self. That old self and separating when you have lived through that frequency for so long, that's a tough habit to break. It really is a tough habit to break, but that's where your growth comes in, where you can be straight, honest, not worried about how people get you. The right people going to get you. The right people going to vibe with you, and the right people going to sit up here and support you like Dad. He or she know exactly what I'm going through. You know, they're being your voice. You know, you being a voice for somebody it shows, you know, I put a brave face on every day, but I'm really dealing with some battles that people really wouldn't understand. I'm crying tears because my heart breaks every day because certain things I can't allow myself to, you know, to tell nobody about because I fear about being judged or what, what they would say about the things that I'm going through, you know. And when you're allowing yourself to say it's okay to not be okay every day. It's okay when you get into that, you know, depressing mode. It's okay when you get angry or sad, you know. But universe and God always tell you, this is only temporary. You know, life is only temporary. There are so many people that are in deathbeds right now wishing they had the daggone struggles that we have. The little petty stuff that we complain about. There's somebody even struggling to breathe. Wishing they had the headaches that we have. They're telling you, don't never take life for granted. You know, there's people that had plans today that ain't even living today. You know, and these are those different things where you become, you don't know, you building up on something fierce that it can't be touched, can't be duplicated, you know, can't be copied in any kind of way. And it's just like when you become so solid, you can become anybody who's well in tune or they getting there, they're going to feel you before you even get in the room. You ain't even got to say that. You can just stay there and post up. Your energy is just speaking so much daggone fluency of truth. That will be scaring the folks to death that don't want to be in their truth. They lying in denial. They don't like that. They're going straight down denial all up in Egypt, all over there. I'm like, girl, they over there by the River Jordan. Mm -mm. They're going down that other river. Which one? Denial. You know, they all up in Egypt on that, that road towards denial. You know, and it's okay. You know, because I had to be at that point where I can't place judgment on nobody who don't want to change. You know, I can't place judgment on anybody that don't want to be honest about their own self when they living in a lie. I don't place any kind of, of, you know, any kind of vibrations when you choose to be living in fear by creating a lot of fear for other people or trying to project towards other people to sabotage things. I cannot judge that. All you can do is just place healing vibes, just being able to say, I, I want that person to get to a peace. You know, because you don't know what kind of war they're going through. Because even though they're ripping havoc through your life, they're living in some kind of pain that they're not allowing themselves to touch. They're, they're moving through so many different things to avoid that. You can't do that. I can't do that. You know, and that's a scary thing to do because it's just the fact is when, you, when you're when going through these things, it's going to bring you a whole lot of changes that may give you to that point where you want to start sabotaging other people. You want to start calling people out for their own lies and dif situations like that. Start calling people out being a victim for this, that, and the third. You know, start dropping bombs of truth just to be able to contradict what that person untold another person. You know, but when you get to that level where you're just saying, I only can, I, I only can vouch for myself. You know, whatever that girl, you know, that person that you know they said about you, I really don't care. You ain't going to sit up here and say, for what? I'm living in my truth. My, my truth is going to project all type of truth no matter where it's cut and whatever, however it's cut, it's still going to slice truth. And whatever they said over there, I, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I know my truth. They know my truth. That's why they projected that lot. You know, but I appreciate what they show me because it helped me to heal myself. It helped me to know myself even better. Not worrying about what kind of actions or opinions people have of me. How I feel about myself is what is important to me. What is mattering to me. What is what is matter to me. You know, that fact. You know what I'm saying? Then you start allowing yourself to go. You're going through that spiritual maturity. you getting that toxicity of freedom. 
where you're allowing yourself to not invest about, you know, playing those thoughts in your head about what people done, what people said, what they trying to hurt, what they trying to stop, you know, all those different things. But you're going to see that was moments in time you needed that in your life. That told you to get in gear. You know, just like I was telling in the other video, if you're one person, you got about 10 or 20 people all in your life trying to shut you down, mock your dreams, telling you you can't do this, telling you won't do that. You know, trying to sabotage anything that you put your hands on or any person you spoke to, they're going to sit up here and contradict everything you said to try to make out of a lie or make you seem like you're the bad person. You got something very important in your life. You are going to make a mark in this world that's going to do some wonders for your life. Because if you're just that one person, you wouldn't have so many people that's coming around you to try to break you in that way. If there wasn't something very, you got a very, you know, powerful potential about you that you may not have discovered yet. You have to understand people that, ooh, ooh, that carry that energy, they can see, they can see that. And that's the reason why they do the things that they do to you. But it's going to be a point in time where you're going to look back and you're going to be grateful for that. Because they showed you to recognize the things that they see in you. You know, they're going to make you do that. It's going to make you see it's like, that. they showed me this whole time. You know, they showed me this whole time. Because a lot of times we can be in that weakness and be like, well, maybe they're right. I don't have this. Maybe, you know. Why is every time I try to do something good, there's always somebody doubting me. There's always somebody trying to hurt me. Or there's always somebody trying to, you know, block me or throw shade at me. You know, but when it gets to that point where you start being rough and ragged with yourself, like, I mean, not talk rough and ragged by is in a negative form, but in a, 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 ooh, solid. When you come in raw with it, that's why I meant to say not ragged, but raw with it, where you just not caring. You know, you ain't got to be, you know, hurting people and hitting below the belt, but just your truth. You don't know how much truth can really hurt a lot of people. A lot of times we can't even digest the truth. If we would choke on that mess in a minute, you need a Heimlich. You know, to get the... You can't breathe, no. <clears throat> reflect. Whew. Okay, if you reflect, you got to go. Okay, I got it. You know. And you do those self assess You check yourself. Even you start getting on your own nerves when you're calling yourself out on your own stuff. Like, man, I got one more time. If that person leave me, I'm going to leave right along with it too and leave this all right here. Because I'm tired. You know? And you're going through all those different things. These are the things that's going to really make you tick. And these are the things that's going on. Because a lot of times we don't realize what's hurting us is helping us. You know? What's punishing us is praising us at the same time. But the villain is going to make you rise. All those different things. And it's just like you needed those enemies to come into your life. Because it's just like they're showing you parts of yourself that you you scared to touch. And they're wanting you to do that. They want you to press doubt in your life. They want you to mock you. When, they want you to you know be hurt when they mock you when you're struggling. And different things. When you really don't find that strength to really move on to that next thing. And it's going to be that time where you're just going to appreciate that because it showed you so much of what you're not, what you don't need, what you could be, what you don't have to be. You know, all those different things. And you're going to create this. And it's like when you get into that vibration of where it's just fiercely representing you, you don't have to. There is no announcements, no introduction. It gets straight to the facts of announcements like, hey, you got this going on. Like, shoot. My energy speak for me. I got representation. I ain't got to speak my energy to. You know. It's going to make people that even, you know, that's trying to come into your life that know they ain't coming right. They ain't even going to be able to come to you at all. They always tell you, come correct or don't come at all. And they ain't going to be able to do it. Because they can't pull that rule over your eyes. You done been through it so much with so many different people. That's why the universe has us in these situations where you're dealing with people that are narcissistic. They're dealing, you're dealing with people that are sadistic. Sociopath. Psychopath. You know, manipulating, toxic energy, all these different things. You had to see it from every angle, every corner, every level, every shade, you know, every size. You had to go through that. So when that mess approached you again, you already know to knock it out the park. Like, eh, uh -uh. I see one of y'all before. You know, you done made peace with that, but then it'll be a certain situation or a certain person. They'll pop up in your head that you know done did some damage in your life. That's letting you know. You gonna be you gonna you and your intuitive and intuition and your gut gonna be very close friends because that is your truth teller all the time before you, it'll know before you know you know and when you get to that point where you done been there done that y'all gonna be hand in hand you like you 
to toxic person three meters ahead. Oh, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm okay. I'm like, oh, hell no, no, I won't. <laughs> you know, and you're going to be okay with that. And that's why I always tell you, you're going to be happy for the things you went back, you know, you went through and through those dark moments, through those times, because you had to do that. You had to do that. Because when you get up to that point, it's just like, remind you, when you get up to that, to that tier, you devil going to try any kind of thing with you because he's trying to knock you down. Even after you get blessings, they're going to try all they can to tear that mess apart. Because they don't want you to stay there. They're like, shoot, I don't want to stay there either. I'm going to go a step further. And how much I'm going to amp it up with like about three or four different things. And these are the things that's going on. You're going to find that, that lion or that lioness, that tigress and that tiger. You're going to find that hidden animal that you, you know, that you're told them, you know. And you're going to show you, you are not a weak-minded person. You're not no weak-hearted person. Because a lot of times we don't realize, you know, people think the empath is ignorant. You know, dumb, naive, all these different things. You need help. Okay. okay. You know, all these different things. But you had to be able to go. Because a lot of times we know, we try to find the good in everybody. And that doesn't make you naive. That don't make you stupid. It just sometimes it makes you, us have to be an experience. And these are the experiences you needed to heal you in that way, strengthen you in that way. Know your, know your worth. Know your strength. You know, if they ain't giving you love, give that love to yourself. If they don't believe in you, believe in yourself. If they're not supporting you, you support yourself. Don't ever allow somebody to tell you you dreaming too big. Don't flatter yourself. All those different things. You know, because there's a lot of times some people will support everybody else. But they will not support you because they fear what you become. They know if you get in that vib vibration of that limelight, that spotlight, baby, you go. That's it. You're going to be the next big thing. But you're going to show so many different people. This is where I came from. This is what I went through. This is what I faced. This is what I overcome. This is what I conquered. And this is what I'm representing. And then when you're showing people that, baby, there are going to be a lot of enemies. You'll make a lot of enemies, but you also going to have a lot of fans. Those are going to be some beautiful things because they're going to show you. You don't know how much I, I, I resonate with the problems that you have faced. You don't know how much of that struggle I can sit up here and relate to. All these different things that's happened in my life. And I finally found somebody who represents me. You know, that's showing that, you know, I'm not in this situation alone. There's more people out here that don't face these situations. They kept it real. They didn't care about how it made people look. When they said they fell down, they made a mistake. They messed up. You know, they had a weak moment. They felt days where they doubted their own self. That's what, I mean, that's where the truth is, you know, the structure of strength comes from. Because you're showing your flaws. You're showing your mistakes. It's okay for that. Because a lot of people, you know, especially when they say on social media, I hear a lot of people that drop comments. These social media influencers don't show nothing when they're, when they're in a negative fold unless somebody else is doing a video about them. With me, I, you know, there's times I had to be vulnerable. There's times where I had to catch myself from crying because it hit me in a certain way or a certain vibration or a certain memory came up when I said something. Y'all don't see me cry. And there was a lot of times I ugly, almost ugly cried on here. It wasn't about attention because see if, if it's a real empath, they know you're genuine. They're going to know that was, that was being felt, you know, and there's no problem with that. That's why I love what I do because it's like I ain't got no time to be fronting or stunting for nobody. This is me. This is all me. I had to learn, you know, that was always told to me, you know, you you got to make sure you do so many different things. You don't want nobody to see you as this. Or what if they find out this? I don't care. I put my own dirt out. What you going to make money off of that I don't already projected? You know, I don't want to tell people, you probably find a mugshot or something like that. I don't care. You know, because I already told y'all about that. But that's not where my mind at. That's not even where my vibration at. Those situations got me to where I am today. And I'm very proud of that. Even though I was in a shameful moment, I was proud because I became better. I didn't go through that. Now, what people need to be shameful of if you done got worse. Now, you know from that, when you haven't grown, you ain't upgraded like Cat Williams say. If you still doing the same thing you did 20 years ago and then I got worse instead of better, baby, you got some problems. You know, but it's just like it ain't meant for me to be judging nobody. I judge myself. <laughs> you know, I judge myself. I'm just saying, you know, and you're going through so many different things. And this is showing you where you can fiercely become. You can create even more. Don't don't stop right there when you get exactly where you want to be. That means you can create better. You know, you shouldn't be comfortable 
stayed at a certain vibration when you know you got the power and the influences to sit up here and go further. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all much love to you. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. This will probably come out Saturday because I got other videos that I already did. But, you know, just be safe at everything you do. Um, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's just about spiritual networking, helping people to find a deeper uh, insight or, a d you know, a deeper vibration of their path of purpose. You know, that people share different situations that they have faced in their life. You know, I tell people never, never feel shameful of the things you have gone through. Never feel embarrassed. You know, these things are creating a better character for you. There's nothing to be shameful about. We are all done things that we're not proud of. But don't mean it. you know, life can't become better after that. So, you know, I always uh, try to help people the best way I can. And whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, I also leave my, my link to my, my podcast on Spotify as well. And if you ever feel generous enough, you can drop a, you know, uh, drop a blessing down um, on my cash app as well. Um, what else is it? Yeah, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I, I send so many beautiful blessings to you. You know, don't don't ever give up on anything that you can't go a day, a minute, an hour, or, you know, a month without thinking about. You know, a lot of things that's going to be creating greatness is not going to come to you easy. So stay consistent and persistent. You know, regardless of what's going on around you, remember what God told you. So it could be at any day. So keep on going. Everything that you're going through is not in vain. So I hope whatever, even in social distancing, make sure you give out love and light, positivity, words, of frequencies. You never know. All those things will really take you a long way. And much love to you. Peace.